Hi, I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks. I love my Sony Xperia Z2. It's my favorite Android smartphone since the LG G2. So when I made a slow motion video of my hand on fire using the Z2, I got a bunch of questions about the device overheating when shooting 4K video. So I looked into it. Sony knows it's a problem. You can only shoot a few minutes of 4K before you have to take a break. But the reality is most people when they're shooting videos aren't gonna shoot more than five minutes. When you're making a home movie, I mean, you're not that interesting, or you, at least your footage generally isn't gonna be. Anyways, what I really wanna talk about is a rumor about the Z2 that it's using liquid pipe cooling. If this is true, this would be the second phone on the market with this advanced heat dissipation technology. The first company to move away from graphite carbon fiber solutions is Japan's NAC with its Medion SX06E, a Snapdragon 600 powered smartphone. When we ran our tests on the Z2, we were able to heat up the handset to 44 degrees. The first 4K video lasted about four and a half minutes. I just kept on restarting the camera app, hoping that maybe I could get the handset itself to shut down. But by the end, I was only able to get 15 seconds of footage before the camera app shut down. It didn't even matter if we saved the files to a high capacity SD card or to the internal storage. The results were exactly the same. There is a lot of compute power in a smartphone. So why, when you're running day-to-day -day tasks, does your phone generally not feel hot in your hand? Well, that's because the circuits are covered with a special thermal diffusion sheet, which the primary component is carbon. This layer is only 10 micrometers thick and it looks like a single sheet, but it actually consists of several tens of thousands of layers of highly conductive carbon crystal membranes. The membranes convert the heat into vibration energy, and so it's diffused very, very quickly. So that's how today's smartphones stay cool. But how about the smartphones of tomorrow? Liquid cooling, or cooling using heat pipes, works by a hollow metal pipe filled with a liquid coolant. The liquid cools the device by evaporating condensing in an endless cycle. The lower end of the heat pipe is exposed to the heat, causing the coolant to evaporate, absorbing that heat. The coolant turns into vapor, and it and its heat loan convect within the heat pipe. Modern heat pipes feature inner walls with a fine capillary structure which break the coolant's surface tension, distributing it evenly throughout the structure. If you know how cooling works on a desktop PC, this shouldn't be news to you. But what should be making your jaw drop is that the heat pipes found in smartphones are 0.6 millimeters thick. So, why aren't we seeing more smartphones using this technology? Well, for starters, it's new, and it hasn't been available for mass market until recently. The bulk of the guys offering this component are here in Taiwan, which is where the Sony rumor conveniently started. And since we're gossiping, apparently Samsung and Lenovo have been experimenting with heat pipes after NEC's phone went retail. Yet despite their interest, neither company has implemented heat pipes in their smartphones. I'm not convinced that Sony is in fact using heat pipes in their smartphone, since if they had done it, I'm sure they'd be bragging about it to everybody. That's just my two cents on it. So I'm Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks. If you enjoyed me turning this little bit of gossip and rumor and a couple of co comments in the questions into an educational piece, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out. Yeah.